Now this, North Korea reportedly behind a new cyber attack on cryptocurrency investors. Come in, General Tom McInerney. Is this threat, this cyber attack threat, bigger maybe than nukes? No, it's not bigger than nukes, but it is certainly a significant threat that we've got to be very concerned with, uh, Stuart. But nukes is still the big issue that we've got to resolve, and you've seen some indications with all three of our bombers are now stationed on Guam, et cetera, what we're doing to increase our credible deterrence. Now, the Pentagon, with the Wall Street Journal reports that the Pentagon's developing or planning to develop two new sea-based nuclear weapons. A, what are those weapons? And B, what kind of capability would they give us in the dispute with North Korea? Well, uh, one's a cruise missile, and, and the fact is, is what, what you're seeing is we're trying to make them smaller so that we can use them with less uh, uh, fallout that you normally get with the larger weapons. That means it is increasing our credibi credibility in our deterrent role, and it is particularly focused on North Korea and Iran. Do you sense a war coming, General? I sense that the United States realizes the threat that a nuclear-armed North Korea that can strike U.S. cities is, and we are preparing to use all means necessary, economic, diplomatic, and war if we have to. We will not accept a nuclear-armed North Korea. But that is what we face, isn't it? We've got to make that choice. The nukes, the, the North Koreans will have the nukes, they've got them already, and they've got the missiles. We have to decide whether we accommodate that or stop it? Which way do you think we're going to go? We better stop it, because we'll never be able to accommodate it. Will America use these weapons that we're developing to stop it? If need be, if need be, in other words, to protect Seoul from that artillery, if you use these small nuclear weapons, you could destroy all that uh, artillery in the north with one or two of these weapons. Uh, so they couldn't strike Seoul. Do you think, that would be do, do, do very you think America would do that? Would America launch and use nuclear weapons in Asia again? I believe we would do that if it meant saving Seoul. Would we shoot first? I believe we still have that option. I know we still have that option. We have not given up first use. Well, I, I guess President Trump has to make sure that the North Koreans understand we will do it. You can't pull back from that position, can you? Otherwise, you've given yourself away. That's, that's what credible deterrence is, Stuart, and that's why it's extremely important that the Chinese and the Russians know this president means business. This I, is not the snowflake we had last time. Do, okay. Does the showdown come within months or years? I don't have that answer. Okay. Well, General McEnany, you've got a lot of answers, and I posed a lot of questions. You're a tough guy, and we appreciate you being with us, sir. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Stuart.